Their women are very good in high school, then they go to college, they're very good in college, they nail their damn grades, they do their studying, they get their A's and they, and they ace their LSAT, so they're smart too. Then they go off to do their articling and they're really, really good at it. And then they get offered an associate position and they're really, really good at it, and then by the time they're 30 they make partner, and let's say they're in high pressure, high paying jobs. $250,000 a year, $300,000 a year, $500 an hour. Okay, what's your life like? You work all the time. Period. 70 hours a week, 75 hours a week, flat out. And you can say all you want about the fact that women have a difficult time with that because it's a male dominant patriarchy. Any, any female lawyer who's hit 30 and is a partner that has any sense at all knows that's complete bloody rubbish. It's market determined right to the core. What happens to the women when they're in their 30s? They all leave the high end law firms. Why? Because who in their right mind would want to live like that?